Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of One Punch Man, Chapter 174. Alright, Saitama entering new apartments, defeats security system, and two, uh, well, an S class and an A class hero have interest in him, aka Metal Knight and uh, a mind mess. So let's see where that goes. <laughs> <clears throat> and we've got Fabuki on the cover. Uh, let's see here. Let the blizzard of enchantment blow over you. Aww. And the title is Beauty. That could be a lot of things. It could be dealing with a My Mask. It could be doing with Fabuki. Boy, this is quite the entourage of cars going on here. Lady Fabuki. Wait. Are, are these Fabuki group cars? Dang. Remember when she bought one car and that was something? Now she's got a fleet. Why well, on earth do you want to go to this place anyway? With the entirety of the Blizzard group and fully armed, no less. I'm going to meet someone. There's a chance things will turn violent. Okay. <clears throat> Our city. And uh, apparently there's a... What is this? Oh, it's a My Mask. So is this uh, the name Ikemen means handsome? Okay. So I guess this is like a model agency. These uh, good guys are going to be huge and our company is planning on making a massive push for them from here on out. Ah, oh, it is. I just need to scroll. Model t major talent agency, handsome castle. Okay. <laughs> You're going to make us big bucks, or they're going to make us big bucks. I took an example from the route that made you into such a huge seller and had them all take the pro hero exam too. You know, not everyone needs to be a hero. <clears throat> the bubbly boys. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> they underwent hard training over a year and two of the seven passed the C-class ranks or exam with flying colors. With those two at the center, now we're going to officially release their debut single as an idol hero group, but only seven, wait, but only two of them did that. Wait, <clears throat> are they the only ones that actually passed at all? Yeah, this dude looks sleazy. I'm hoping you'll give them a few nuggets of advice, too. Maybe some tricks for surviving in this cutthroat in, uh, entertainment industry. Hey, sweet, are you even listening? Those guys are real gems. They could take over your spot as the poster boy idol. Zero appeal. Please don't speak to me. I have no interest in phonies. Says the man who literally can just repair his face. You are the biggest phony. Oh, he's watching the surveillance. Gate number nine. Security camera video log. Two days ago. Okay, so we have a bit of time skip. All right. That's when Saitama destroyed the first level of defense. <clears throat> Hage Mant, Which is like just... It's the spelling of Saitama's Japanese hero name. Okay, we've all uh, Let's see here. Class A, 39. You're just enthralled, aren't you? Let's see here. Sweet. You're under the same agency these guys are. You're precious juniors, you know. Don't get it. Yeah, you don't get it. That's my advice. Got it? Don't talk to me. What are you saying? Director, you used me as an example, and this is what you came up with. I'm in a very bad mood. Do me a favor and stop trying to mass produce disgusting fakes like these. <coughs> okay. Oh my god, they've been listening the whole time. Are watching? Senpai, why you gotta be so mean to us, calling us phonies and fakes? Sweet mass senpai, if you get too cocky just because you're the favorite, you'll we'll catch up before you know it. Dude, you're going to die. <laughs> your smash hit will be your skulls across the freaking wall in a second. 
If you're uh, talking song, if we're talking song, mu talking song, ugh, dance and looks, I'm confident we're every bit as good as you. Calm down, Cherion. Okay. And of course, we've got the raw power, too. That's right, the two of us passed the hero exam, too. C class and an A class? What's the difference anyway? Oh, you're going to die. It is confirmed now. <clears throat> maybe you want to find out? Ah, oh, maybe you shouldn't, though, since your face is so important for business. All of you need to do is stop this. Director, you were saying the same thing, though. It would be better if Sweet Mask would just concentrate on entertainment. He tries to maintain his hero persona at all times, so it's hard to handle him. Is that what you said? Oh god, these boys are definitely uh, aching for a break, and uh, we're, practi er, we're practical. So we're going to use the lame title as hero as a stepping stone, a name for the true top idol spot. And you'll suffer because those usually only last a few years. <clears throat> Unlike a certain someone who can't make up his mind whether he's a hero or an idol. Maybe you're the one who's the half-assed fake senpai. The... <clears throat> bah. I can't talk tonight. Also, my chair sunk. I hate when my chair sinks. There we go. <clears throat> Plan on fixing that soon. The agency plans to promote us hard. <laughs> if you really want to concentrate on being a hero so badly, you could just uh, retire from being an idol, you know. Look at all of you. Hero is not a title that can easily be used as a stepping stone. That way of thinking is exactly why you, uh, they say you, you're hard to handle. This is a business after all. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Then what would you do if I was a monster? If one appeared in front of you like this? We'd beat you to a pulp at seven on one. You really shouldn't look down on us, bubbly boys. Oh god, the fact that that is the name you went with. Hmm. <laughs> What's so funny? You're sorely mistake you're sorely mistaken if you think you're too scared to fight you. I don't mind at all, honestly. That's enough, Fantas. Fantas. Their names are just food items. So we have Cheerio. And we now have Fanta. <clears throat> if your face gets hurt... Wait, what is happening to them? Oh my god, is he doing that to them? What the... I just started shivering out of nowhere. That's your instincts warning you. You and I are far too different biologically. None of you have it. You don't have beauty. Beauty like his. Okay, what's up with the veiny neck all of a sudden? The beauty of overwhelming power. Wait, he's thinking of something. He's fucking us. <laughs> oh, those cups are cracked to hell. <clears throat> okay, back at the apartments. Room 104. Let's see here. Good timing. I had just found these mugs, too. Uh, though they're a bit cracked. Okay, so that's Saitama's new apartment. Alright. Room 101. Uh, a rank, or A class. I hate reading their ranks. It's uh, Forte. Then we've got Butterfly DX. Oh, God. And then Chain Toad. They've all joined him for tea. So I invited you all in, and, but who are you guys? You guys? Dude, you're like nothing compared to him. Like, so you, like, I mean, sure. He, actually, yeah, he's the lowest rank amongst them, but like, damn. I wouldn't have thought butterfly dx was the highest rank huh. buddy how old are you 25 he was older than me oh okay age doesn't matter anyway whoever moved him first is a senior around here i heard this place only opened two weeks ago 
Who cares if it's only two weeks? I'm still your senior. Hell, you didn't even greet your new neighbors as, or bring gifts or snacks as gifts. Really? Why are you supposed to bring snacks to the people who weren't already there? <laughs> or that were already there? This is stupid. Oh, look, there's a uh, sperm and a uh, <laughs> freaking... Oh, Lord, I can't remember names for some reason. Why can't I remember Rover's name? Uh, <clears throat> then I remembered it. Oh, sorry about that. So you're my neighbors. Nice to be acquainted with you. I'm Saitama. My house recently got destroyed, but I moved in here after I became A-class. And King told me about this place. King? Uh, as long as you get it. <laughs> yeah, you're starting to shake now. Okay, Toad. Chain Toad has just removed his freaking headpiece. We've never seen his face before. <clears throat> he actually looks a lot older than normal. Thank you for the tea. He drinks the tea and then puts the <laughs> back on. What the hell was that? Chain Toad is an amazing martial artist, but he is rather plain and not very popular. So he started wearing that headgear to develop a character. Thanks to that, he's a bit more popular with the kids. Just a bit. You put on headgear because you're plain. The idea itself is plain. <laughs> I'm sure you know me already, but I'm Butterfly DX. Pleased to meet you. I moved here because commuting is easier. Nope, never heard of you. But charmed. I'm Forte. I listen to music with these headphones and... Why is that an ability? Also, Butterfly didn't f tell us a goddamn thing about him. Like, Chain Toad, we know what he can do. He's alright. The other two don't seem to have any hero traits whatsoever. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. You don't know me? I've been on TV a lot, and I'm pretty famous on the internet too, you know. Hey, what's that it... Give me a second, I... I'll go change. That guy is a major attention whore. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> okay, I wasn't expect, expect, expecting. I can't talk today, sorry. I guess I'm just too tired from work. Sorry. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a hairy chest and, oh, God, is that hair coming out of his groin? Uh, <laughs> Are the wings real, or are they part of the costume? And he's wearing high heels. This man is a fucking disaster. Uh, what do you think? This is what I usually look like. I had videos taken, and it's probably just to laugh at you. And TV coverage of lots of shows of me fluttering from roof to roof with these wings. Wait, they're practical? Oh, my place only had public broadcast. I've only watched weather and disaster channels for the past... Two to three years. And holy smokes are you hair. You better get... You better not shed any hair in my room. <laughs> I listen to music and battle with my rhythm. Not that I care, but young people say I'm cool and look badass. So I'm pretty popular. They also put me on a fashion magazine once. But I don't care about that. I'm sure you don't. That's why you're telling everyone about it. Saitama don't give a shit. Isn't working up a rhythm every time uh, you fighting really pointless? You and me, Baldy. Outside right now. I'll show you my strength. <laughs> Wait, was that the end of the chapter? So now we've got the bubbly boys as like a little in producer notes or a secret. Okay. Who said we said we're not cold? So they're their shit all oh, because of the fear shiver. So one of them brought tea. If we focus on their tense relationship, that could increase sales from both. End of chapter. I promised a friend three years ago I'd put a bongo cat at the end of a One Punch Man chapter. I've always forgotten it on chapter days, but there's no notes today. So here you go. Three years ago. <laughs> bongo cat. Uh, adorable um, kind of a weird chapter to be honest well we 
I guess, technically got introduced to the three characters that we've seen up to now. I mean, well, I say three. Chain Toad, we already knew. But, uh, Butter D Butterfly DX. Why? But the other guy could be interesting, but I feel like he really isn't anything special either. Well, How did they make it to A class? Like I said, Chain Toad, legitimate martial artist makes more sense maybe shouldn't go past maybe high b class or low a class but i mean well i guess technically he was like ranked uh in the 30s for a class so he's already low because i think saitama would probably be what in the uh the lower echelon of it but yeah, my mass being so enthralled with Saitama is probably the biggest thing about this chapter. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much to say, actually. I'm kind of wondering what he plans on doing now that he knows Saitama is the real deal. Or at least wants to test that. And these bubbly boys, are we actually going to see them again are they just going to be one-off characters? Are they actually going to become a threat? Because I could actually see them like having some kind of weird obsession of taking over, you know, a my mass spot, and then they monster five, but not as individuals, but as like a giant kaiju chimera thing. Like that could be cool. A seven-headed dragon monster. And it's like, oh my mouth, we've all come to... And they speak like Venom. Um, we've come to destroy you and take the top spot. And then they like breathe fire and start singing. They probably would use like, you know, sonic attacks or something. And dance move, choreography style fight moves maybe. Capoeira. Um... So yeah, I could see that, and he have to deal with them, and it'd be rather easy, because, I mean, if two of them were only, like, C-class, and this obsession is fairly shallow, I could definitely see them as being not much more than a demon-level threat at best. So, but th that's really my only thoughts. Sorry. <laughs> um, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. I'll be starting Pokemon next, or this weekend. So stay tuned for that. New game, new, a whole new world with a whole new attitude. But I will have to try and catch them all. I probably won't. But anyway, so yeah, all that good stuff. Um, I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be doing the podcast tomorrow unless something happens. We'll be covering this chapter and 173. So, because I'm pretty sure we hadn't done that one yet, have we? Hmm. Either way, podcast probably tomorrow. And uh, yeah, as always... Later days, and until next time, Keeshlings. Pop Star Chimera Monster. Hmm.